Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Chainlink coin here in 2024 using your Windows 10 or 11 computer in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more Chainlink coin while you're mining here in 2024. So, before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference, if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes, and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, crypto is just very slightly up today. Total market cap of $3.71 trillion, which is awesome to see. That's a very high market cap, uh, one of the highest we've seen uh, this year as we are continuing to prepare and get a stronger bull run as we get closer to 2025. That's up about 0.05%, so relatively flat, but still green. Now, taking a look at some of the coins here, of course, Bitcoin leading the charge of pushing that market cap up is, you know, up around $106,455, up 10.26% in the last seven days. Bitcoin was as high as 107000 and some change uh, within the last 24 hours, so we are very close to all-time high territory. Uh, again, Ethereum up again over 10% the last few days, uh, just under the $4,000 mark again, similar to Bitcoin, this was just over 4000 within the last 24 hours. And XRP, number three on CoinMarketCap now, up right around that $2.60 mark, up 24% in the last seven days. Awesome to see that one as well. But, of course, today we are talking about Chainlink, placed number 12 on CoinMarketCap at $27.65. It's up 27.35% in the last seven days. Now, if we click into this and take a quick look here at the all-time chart, you can see that we are at $27.72, but during the last bull run, this coin got up to $48. So, there is still a lot of potential to earn a lot on these coins as you you know watch the price go up here through the next few months as part of the bull run uh, once we get into 2025. So how do you go about mining this coin? Well, we're going to be using Unminable, and if you're not familiar with Unminable, basically what it does is it allows you to mine coins that aren't traditionally mineable or aren't very uh, profitable to be mining uh, with regular GPU or CPU technology. So the way they do that is they allow you to choose an algorithm from tons of different ones uh, that would be profitable for your specific hardware. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Kapow. That's just one that I like to use for the tutorials, but please check out whattomine.com. That'll tell you, you know, what's best for your hardware. Uh, but as you can see with Kapow, it's actually mining Ravencoin, and then what Unminable does is they convert it on the back end and pay you out just in Chainlink. So if you're in an area where, uh, you know, exchanging your cryptocurrency is a taxable event, this could be a really good way to earn coins that you want to hold but don't want to necessarily buy uh, since you're getting paid out directly in the coin you want. So what you're going to do, first head over to Unminable. The link is in the description below, and I do recommend that you use that link because it will give you a 25% discount on your pool mining fee, which I'll talk about here in just a minute, or you can just navigate to Unminable.com. Select the Get Started with Our Wizard button, and you'll have two options, Basic and Advanced. Now, I always recommend going with Basic, but Advanced is there if you want a few additional settings. Now, I'm going to be doing the GPU path here, as I think that's what most people will be mining with, but if you are following along on a computer that does not have a GPU, or you're looking to mine on a Mac OS-based computer, choose the CPU option. Again, here's where you'll select the algorithm you want to mine with. I'll be using Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware. 
Here's where you choose the coin that you are interested in getting paid out in. Now, of course, we're going chain link, but feel free to choose whatever you would like to get paid out in. Just ensure that on the next page, you put in the correct address. So when you paste your address in here, please double and triple check it. Just because this thing comes up and says, hey, it's compatible with ETH networks. If I delete this four and replace it with a three, I still get that uh, notice, but we know that this is no longer my address and I will not get paid. So please don't rely on the call out and make sure you put in the right address because everything will work as expected until you go to get paid. So at this point, you can go ahead and say next. The final step before downloading the files and getting started mining is entering in a referral code if you have one. And lucky for you, I do have one here, which is just Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. Now, if you use the link in the description, you'll notice it auto-populated. But if you didn't and still want to take advantage of that 25% discount, enter in this code. Essentially, here on Unminable, there is a 1% fee for your mining uh, you know, that you do here on the site. So that means if you mine 100 Chainlink coins, you will be paying one of those coins to Unminable as part of their fees. Now, if you use this code, you mine 100 coins, you're only going to pay 0.75 coins for every 100 instead of that one. So you are keeping an additional 25% of the coins that you would have otherwise given to Unminable. So I do always recommend using this code, plus it does help out the channel. If you do want to use it, it's again Bitcoin-Tips. If not, go ahead and continue without it. Now the final step is getting everything downloaded to start mining. Now I always recommend using Gminer, as this is one that I've worked with a lot, and it's the one I personally use for all of my mining. Not to say that these other ones are bad, I've used just about every one of them, but Gminer seems to be the one that I always go back to, plus it supports both major GPU manufacturers. So what you're going to do is select download miner files. This will bring you to the GitHub page where you just select this Windows 64 zip, download this, and extract it. If you do not extract the file, it will not work. So if you get an error right when you go to double click the file to get started, which we'll talk about in just a second, maybe check to make sure that you didn't miss that step of extracting the folder. So once you got that downloaded and extracted, come back over to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. As you can see here, this comes up and says, hey, this seems to be an unsafe file. We can't verify it. You will have to click this notification and say download unverified file. If you're not comfortable doing that, simply don't do it. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. It is just part of mining. So if you aren't comfortable downloading it, that's completely fine. But I would recommend checking out some of my other videos about faucets or cloud mining because this is going to happen with just about any program you use for mining. If you are comfortable with that, download it and drag and drop it into the folder that you have uh, with all the extracted files. So as you can see here, I just had it on the second screen, but I now have my unminable link kapow gminer.bat file right here. And now all you have to do to get started is double click this file. Now you'll notice here that you get another Windows Defender pop-up saying, hey, we're protecting your PC. You will have to select more info and then run anyway to get started. Again, same as the last warning, if you're not comfortable doing this, simply don't do it. Just say don't run, delete the files, and check out some other things on, in cryptocurrency. Good news is you'll only get this pop-up the first time you run the file, but you can go ahead and say run anyway. This will open up the CMD window, and you are now mining Chainlink coin using your GPU, in this case an RTX 3070. So we're about nine minutes into the recording here, and that included a little bit of uh, coin market cap, taking a look at some different coins, including Chainlink. So really, in less than five minutes, we got up and running here with unminable mining Chainlink coin. So just a few final notes about this uh, site and program. When you start the miner like I just did, it will take about 15 to 30 minutes for stats to show up here on the website under the addresses tab. If you don't see any of those stats showing up uh, after about an hour, double check to make sure you got your addresses pasted in correctly and the CMD window doesn't have any red text indicating errors. And on the other side, it, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find the CMD window and select the red X. The reason I mention how to close a window is because with Unminable, 
you may actually continue seeing payments and stats here on the website for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. It's a little strange and I've seen some questions uh, in the comments on other videos about Unminable that say like, hey, I've been mining, I stopped it, and I'm still getting paid, isn't mining in the background? The answer is no, as long as you have closed out that CMD window, you will no longer be mining. I've personally seen it 12 hours after shutting off the miner, turning off the computer, and unplugging the computer, I'm still getting payments. So there's no way that computer could have been mining, and you know I wouldn't complain too much because you're still getting paid and you're not even mining. So I like to call that out as just a weird thing with unminable. So with that being said, if you do run into any issues throughout the entire process here, please make sure to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you liked this video, please consider hitting the like button. It really does help out uh, the YouTube channel here and allow us to continue providing this content for free here on YouTube. So please like, share, and subscribe, and I do hope to see you in my next video. Bye.